because as far as God is concerned, everything is ready. Jesus has already suffered. Jesus died. Jesus rose again. Jesus completed the work. As far as God is concerned, nothing was left undone. Jesus completed everything. If Jesus had not completed the work, he would not have died. As a father, he was loving. Um, he was concerned about God and he made us very much aware of that. And uh, he also made us aware of his love for my mother, which I think was important in our house. Uh, Bishop Evans Rima was a loving man, smiled a lot, always happy. Uh, he was strict when it came to matters pertaining to just respect and things like that, but he was a great guy. Joel Mrima, a follower of Jesus, born again. So the first son of Bishop Evans and Feni Mrima. Some people call him pastor. Uh, Bishop Evans Mrima, what comes to mind when I think about him is the joy that he carried with himself, that he shared with everyone, the whole world. He was a very jovial person. Big smile and a genuine one too. He, it was not a pretentious smile, it was his nature. And the other thing about him ever since I met him was the faith in God and in the Word of God that, that he practiced and that he portrayed. Uh, one of his favorite scriptures was that with God, Nothing shall be impossible. And on, on top of that, he was a man of great love. So even though he had faith, it was not just faith, but it worked through the love that he himself practiced and taught uh, those that sat under his feet uh, to love God and to love one another. Five foundations of Gowi. My father's teachings have influenced me greatly. His foundations are be mighty in the word, be mighty in prayer, be mighty in praise, be mighty in singing, and be mighty in giving. So, first of all, he made us aware of the Bible as the foundation, instruction, as well as the body of everything. So even if we had prophecies, I think even if an angel came from heaven, we still have to verify it by the Bible. He stood by that. Prayer was important. He taught us to pray. It's a part of, our, part of my life. Praising God, whether things are good or bad, also is a part of my life. Singing to God, in fact, is the one who encouraged me to enter ministry with singing. And also giving to God, not just money, but time, talent. So we give whatever we have to God. Uh, my name is Jimmy. Uh, I'm a born again Christian. I'm a musician by uh, profession. I teach and I play guitar and keyboard. I think one of the things that I picked from these teachings was just to love people. The thing that comes to mind when I think of Bishop Evans Rema is a man who was a godly man, a man who was a forthright individual and a person who loved the Lord and desired that everybody should give their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour.
I still remember because he was the one that led me through the sinner's prayer. I still remember him asking me uh, whether I was still a sinner girl. And that happened in their home in Nyeri, where I happened to visit um, together with my sister. So I said that, yes, I'm still a sinner girl, but I would like to give my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And we prayed together, and that was when I became born again. I remember he used to say, um, he used to tell us that the closest a sinner can be to God is to get close to him. And he was right. He made us actually believe and know that truly God as a person can dwell inside of us so much so that you can impact the environment around you. And the closest indeed that any sinner would get to God is by getting near to us. And so I really appreciated getting to know somebody who was so real in his life, in his Christian walk with God, and in his life or his walk um, with the Lord Jesus. It was, his testimony was very vibrant and very real, and it was a pleasure to be around him all the time. He would never have allowed, um, as youth, us to be casual in our in, in the way we behaved, we had to we had to live up to the standard of the Bible. There was no um, uh, how sorry no middle yeah there was no middle ground about it. You had to you either loved God with all your heart and you demonstrated it and you walked it, or you were not in you were not a believer. So it was it was a very strict. He was very very strict when it came to the things of God. We never bypassed, I mean, there was no casualness about his commitment and his faith to God, and he demanded the same from all of us who were um, under his ministry. We had to really live up to it, but, and yet at the same time, it was, it, it was not a by force, it was something that was a fruit of the Spirit. It came naturally. Now remember, the Bible does not say the fruit. It is the fruit. There is one truth which manifests all these things. The same spirit manifests joy, love. Are you here in the sense of God? So you can't bisect and dissect these things and say, me, I only have uh, long suffering. I don't have love. That's not scriptural. It is not in the Bible. It is not the truth, but one Fruit. It is not spirit, but one spirit that has all these manifestations. Well, I'll remember his love for God and his de dedication to serve Jesus. That one I can't forget. His love for my mother, mom was precious to my father. And I know he cared about us in a very particular way. That's something I won't forget. There are particular instructions he gave me which I've made as a bedrock for my life concerning ministry, God, my mother, my siblings, and even myself. Those are the things I will hold dear about him. And of course his joy. He was a very joyful man. It's the one thing I desire to have. My name is Yvette Kazahura Koronge. I am born again and I teach Sunday school at the Goway Church. Bishop Evans Marima's teachings have impacted my life through what I've heard about him from his wife, the Bishop of the Church, and Pastor Joel, and also many other people who I've heard from. Uh, from those teachings, I've been able to learn how to grow closer to God and how to depend on God in different areas of my life. One of the wise words I would leave with the viewers 
is one thing that I've really heard from church a lot is concern yourself with the things of God and that he is coming soon. The worship, the songs that are sung at Goe, but touch on the word of God. The songs that we sing at Goe, the, 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 the word that has been preached at Goe is based on scripture. And it is a word, it is that which lifts up the name of Jesus. One thing I've appreciated with the family is growth. I've seen people start from nothing. Some have been born in the ministry. And at this point, there are people who I can rely on in some things. They can actually do better some things than I can do. My faith has been strengthened. What like that? Yeah, my faith has been strengthened and I've learned to <coughs> believe God and trust God more in my problems and situations wherever I have them and my challenges also. And uh, I've learned also to not depend on people so much, but to trust in God. So I'm really grateful for that. People are concerned, people from the Goi family are concerned about one another. So people will check up on you. People uh, contribute a lot towards your, your life, let's say. It's the love and care that is shown in the members and even to me in the Goi family. As a person who does not even belong to like this country, it's, it really means a lot and I'm really grateful to God for that, that I can call them family and when I'm at Gowi, I'm at home. It's, it's a family church, so I bless the Lord for it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah!